The Hartley Show is an entertainment program and does not own any of the copyrighted material featured in this episode. All copyrighted material featured will be used as fair use for the purposes of criticism, comment, news reporting, and or researching. Talkie talkie. Welcome to The Hartley Show. Today we're going to be visiting the scary, the moody, the creepy, the effervescent world of Netherworld Collectibles. <laughs> Join me, would you? I'm here with Daryl, the owner, proprietor of Netherworld Collectibles. Daryl, how you doing, man? Doing very good, Hartley. Good oh, to see you again. We're going to shake hands now. Yeah, we are, absolutely. Well, I, I cough into that thing. That's okay. I wipe my ass with this one. <laughs> Talk about your store. Now, obviously, you've got a unique niche here. You've got, uh, you are a horror collectible store. Yeah? Absolutely, yep. That's how you define yourself? Exactly. Not to be confused with a Halloween store, which a lot of people hmm. confuse. You don't actually sell particularly costumes, do you? I don't sell any Halloween stuff. It's all horror movie related merchandise. Right. It, it really is the base of customers that makes this store work. Even though I love it and all, if it wasn't for the customers, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> of course, of course. Right? And you're on your third year now, right? Third year, yeah. Now, uh, it, you opened up when? Uh, uh, February of three years ago. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, what is the majority of, uh, like, what would you say that your highest selling category is? What do you sell the most of? The most of? Uh, probably figures, I would say. Figures yeah, and, figures. and, uh, figures and uh, DVDs. Like a lot of movies. I saw a lot of movies. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, as far as uh, you have a lot of um, sort of makeup style things, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, prosthetics and, and uh, just makeup and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of out right now, but I usually right. do. Yeah. Now, do you sell a large amount of that stuff? Um, like certain certain times of year, I will. Um, uh, occasionally, like with the um, with the uh, uh, like the film student kind of crowd, yeah, you, you'll sell bits and pieces. Basically, right. I just want to have it available for them, right? Because I mean, no big Hollywood budget movie is going to come yeah. in and buy stuff yeah. for me. But for uh, for small independent features, yeah, idiots absolutely. like us, absolutely. And, and occasionally props and, and stuff like yeah. that, that that people need. Daryl made us a prosthetic zombie arm and, oh, two, yeah. and two fake steaks <laughs> for some of our zombie stuff. <laughs> that's which right. Which we are eternally grateful that's for. That's right. I forgot about that. That's hilarious. Do you still have the arm kicking around somewhere? Uh, actually, the arm is down there, but... Hey, Arm, I remember you. But but I took it to a live wrestling oh. event, and I threw it in the ring, right. and they were, like, beating each other with yeah. it. So it, it took some... It's it, got bandages on it, didn't you? It took some damage. Now, well, one of the other things I love about your store, too, is that you actually sell weapons here. You sell mm. knives. In fact, I think I got this knife from you. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes, you did. I, and that's a very unique thing for a, a, any kind of comic store, geek store. Yeah, it just kind of fit the bill, right? I mean, like... You know, there's there's so many uh, weapons used in horror movies. Not that I'm saying that customers should use weapons on each other. It's just uh, it's it's another thing to carry just to, to bulk up the line of products, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you stick just to, just the horror movie stuff alone, there there really isn't enough, right? Right. So hence they having to bring in a few other lines and 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 building stuff and all that other stuff. Right. right. It just kind of bulks it out. And of course, my favorite weapon that you sell here is the brain bar. Oh yes, the brain bar. I still have one of those. Which we featured in our show. You That's can right. cut through a car door with this bad boy. You can. And you've sold multiples of these things. I, now, I did. Right? Yes. Yeah, I did. You're on your third or something. Uh, yeah, I have one left. So I have the. Yeah, so I, I've sold two, and I have one left. How sexy is that? It's it's uh, it's insane. So as we've already talked about, one of the unique things that happens here at Netherworld is you build props and things. I do. Things like this, which is an actual metal. It's made out of resin, yeah? Yeah, that's made out of resin, yeah. And and you've been making these things, which is just cool as heck. Uh, Would yeah. you describe this thing? Uh, I got the idea from um, like a 16th century plague doctor mask. And right, then I right. kind of like updated it, made it kind of steampunky. Um, they're all 100% leather. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see like there's a, there's a pattern here that... Uh, of, of a white one, and that'll be that color. So a white one that we're working on. Uh, this is actually goat. Goat? Yeah, it's goat leather, yeah. Everyone's favorite cheese and milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so those are, uh, and, and, and eventually I'll, I'll be making um, foam, foam versions. There. And I have to point out, as I was talking before when we were off camera, how spy versus spy this looks. It, it is very it's spy like versus spy. It's like steampunk spy versus totally spy is. costumes. It totally is. Um, I was surprised uh, uh, in, in working at this because I had one sitting over there for a while and I used the maquette to, to build off. How many people had no idea what it was? Right. Right? And I was, and I was like, oh, it's Plague Dr. Mouse. And they're like, 
what's that? It was right. just like, wow. What's a plague? <laughs> what's a doctor? <laughs> right? So I was, I was shocked, right? You uh, care to talk about this guy? This is, um, this is a chupacabra. Or he will, be, he will be when he's done. This is the uh, upper torso. Um, and he's just a latex foam filled. Um, I did not sculpt this one myself, uh, but I am building it. Mike Tyson has a hard time saying chupacabra. A cop is out on the moon. Chupacabra. 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 Chimamanga. This one uh, I'm making for a, uh, a guy that already has two like this, but he wanted a third one. Huh. Uh, the mask was... Uh, was just an idea of mine, and, and like this was uh, a, a prop for um, someone's Halloween costume. They just asked gotcha. me to put together. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, and uh, because this is obviously you know a store for people to come buy things, how mm -hmm. much would something like this cost? Uh, around fifty bucks. And uh, the yeah. mask? Uh, the mask is about one hundred and seventy. Custom made mask. Custom made, all leather. So you've got comics, board games, video games, action figures, weapons, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention the dead stuff. Oh, dead stuff sells great. Dead stuff is fantastic. I, I, this stuff, uh, a, comp a local company called Cranium of Curiosities puts this stuff together for me. Follow them on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, sorry, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they have a Twitter or not, I'm not sure. Right. But um, they do a very, very good job. And there's a lot of things that um, we don't usually see in this part of the world, like a gigantic stick bug and a whiptail scorpion and a giant locust. Tarantula um, mandibles. Tarantula mandibles, yeah, yeah, totally. There's like, uh, they do a very, very good job. People love this stuff. Um, so, I mean, like, I'll carry as much of it as they, as they bring in. It's fantastic stuff. You heard it here, folks. Get your dead stuff from Netherworld. Dead stuff sells great. Look at that, orb weaver spider. So we got to talk about it. You had Lloyd Kaufman here in this store. Big event, yeah? I did. It was an awesome event. Yeah, the, the, uh, the master of trauma films. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was great. Lo having Lloyd Kaufman here was, was fantastic. I had a lineup out the door. It was, it was great. And he came, uh, he came a little bit late because of the uh, traffic from the airport. And he was only supposed to be here for an hour and a half. But he ended up staying like right on, right on. until the very, very end. Everybody went through the line. Everybody was happy. Signed everything for free. It was, it was great. And what kind of stuff did he talk about? Um, he basically was uh, here in, in the store here. It was like a meet and greet. So you could like meet him. You can get something oh, gotcha, signed gotcha. and yada, yada. And then the following day, there was a trauma fest at UBC. And then mm. he kind of went over. Uh, there was a, you know, a trauma filming master class. And then they oh, played a bunch of his films and stuff like that. And I was there set up as a booth as well. Was there any, any of those uh, moments where somebody like got him to tattoo a body part? Or sign a body part so you get it tattooed? There was, actually. and uh, How did I guess that? There was. There was a, a gal that came up from the States. And I, I don't remember her name. Now, Lloyd and his wife were here. Mm -hmm. So, of course, when she dropped trial and said, I need you, I want you to sign my ginch or my thigh or whatever, right. his wife came in and was just like, no. Now, uh, the first time we came and spoke to you, mm -hmm. you had been featured in some local newspaper. And now you've been featured in this thing, the, what is this, Absolute Underground? Oh, yeah. Absolute Underground. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. A magazine put out by a friend of the show, Ira Hunter. Yep. Yep. They're uh, Champions of Hell with Robin Thompson. Exactly. And plus, you know, this thing's been going for 10 years, and it's always free. So, Wait, you mean sometimes it doesn't cost money? It always never costs money. The best kind of not costing money. The best money. kind, of, and, and this particular issue, yes, like you said, I have an interview on this page. There I am. Oh, actually, I'm not in there. You're but Ira's in there. in there. And your Dracula's there. My Dracula's there. What's he got in his hand? What's the Dracula? Oh, nothing? No, he's got nothing. That's what we got to talk about. Oh, the decorations? <laughs> the phenomenon of Dracula decorations. So it's three years worth of just somebody coming by your store who knows what it is and putting 3D glasses on. Oh, yeah, I've got hundreds of 3D glasses. Tell us of about them. the litany of things that have it, been placed on Dracula. Oh, it's, it, it's absurd. I mean, for the first couple of years, it was, there was just the Dracula outside, and now I have the creature outside as well. So the now the creature also gets decorated. Oh, right, right, right. So, I mean, 3D glasses, like you mentioned, they're, they're the most common. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Some of them are just blank. Some are painted. Right, right. Um, oh, there's been so many things on there. Stuffed animals, you know, and usually stuffed animals with, like, blood painted on their, <laughs> right, uh, on right. their thing. Wow, effort even. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, 
construction hats, uh, third place bowling trophy. That was one of my favorites. <laughs> That's all. Awesome. I didn't even know they made third, third place, place bowling, bowling trophies, trophy, but yeah, yeah Dracula's there holding his third ever done the Groucho Marx, though? Yes, they, <laughs> I've had that twice, the Groucho Marx thing with the glasses and the nose. And you keep all this stuff, right? Oh, yeah, I keep You've it all, like a yeah. box loaded with this stuff, I have stuff, a right? huge box of shit that's, yeah, that's all like Toucan Sam nose and... and <laughs> There's so much stuff, feather boas, it, whatever I guess they came across, and it nice. just ends up being. It'd be on so there. cool if somebody would put like swimming trunks on the creature. That'd be so cool. That I would probably notice. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I take it that you would never want them to stop doing that because oh, no. it's kind of cool, right? It's, it's hilarious. I think it's so. Who, it's whoever, whoever you are, yeah. keep up the good work. Yeah, and usually, I mean, if it's some, I mean, if it's the three glasses that I've seen like hundreds of times over the last three years, I usually don't post that. But if it's something unique and cool, I'll put a picture up on the Facebook page and the and the Instagram. So be sure to follow Netherworld on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Daryl, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for coming down, guys. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here. It is. <laughs>